Hello everyone, and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the 10 amp Wanderer battery solar charger from Renergy. So I'll switch over here and we'll take a look at it. So this is the Renergy charger that I bought. And it's pretty nice. And it gets me up to 50 volts here at the bottom for uh, solar input. It works with a 12 volt or a 24 volt system. I'm going to be uh, plugging it into my custom 24 volt lithium ion battery I have built. It has two uh, 5 volt 2 amp USB ports for charging any sort of USB device and is capable of connecting a Bluetooth module to it so I could read the uh, information from a phone. So there's the listing. I mean, it's real good price for what it is. Uh, 1999 uh, with Amazon Prime. And what I was really looking at here is what is it going to cost just to kind of have an emergency backup? If I need to just connect one solar panel uh, to charge any sort of battery to get me from point A to point B, or if I need to charge a battery throughout the day to utilize something at night, what would that look like? So I grabbed a hold of this. And I have a few extra solar panels in my backyard, so I grabbed one of them and hooked it up and just to see what, what we could get out of it. So we're going to jump over to the video of me running over the quick unboxing of this, uh, connecting the batteries and the panels and seeing what that looks like. Here we go. All right. So we just got this in the mail. This is the 10 amp Wanderer from Renogy. This is a PWM uh, solar battery charger. It is actually significantly smaller than I expected, about the size of my hand. I mean, it still works just fine. I imagine everything will work great. Comes with uh, the manual, it just runs over how to program it. And then we have on the far left the two terminals for the solar here. In the middle, two terminals for the battery. And then on the right, two terminals for the DC load. So what I found out when starting it is that the... The uh, connectors, the ports are all open to begin with. And then if I turn this to the left, you'll see that when I unscrew it, in the middle right here, let's see if we can get it on camera, it moves down where it opens up the channel for you to stick the wire in and then close the terminal up by twisting it to the right and it pinches the wire up to the top. And then we have the two 5 volt 2 amp USB connectors which I did verify work and then to program this you will start out by plugging a battery into it which we will do next now I've got this DC traditional connector with positive and negative on the other end I'm going to go ahead and loosen up both battery terminals Positives on the left, so red goes on the left, black goes on the right. Make sure we get all the strands in there. Hold it in tight. And we're going to close each terminal, tighten them down. tug make sure that they're in there and they are take my homemade battery here get it all wired up And 
we'll see what happens with the power. So boom, now we have power. Right now it says zero volts. So that can't be right. There we go, I had to change through the settings here. So we got the battery, it's a 24 volt battery. It's at 23.6 and you can see we're reading the battery up here in the left. Load is 15. Uh, that's a setting for the timer on the load once there's no longer a solar input, which is a nice little feature. I believe this is the voltage. Um, oh, the PV voltage. There you go. PV in the top. We don't have any PV panels connected to it, so there's no PV voltage, no PV amperage. Um, on the battery mode, you press and hold enter, and that allows you to shuffle through the different types of batteries. I have a lithium ion, it's 24 volts, and we're gonna have to work on the float amount to see if it'll accomplish what I need it to accomplish. Uh, I'll go back to lithium ion, close it out, press and hold, and now we're closed out again. So, there's a point that we're at, I should be able to connect a DC load in here, and then it would use the power from the battery to operate the DC load, as well as the five volt and two amps. And I have verified that just like this, plugging in a USB port phone charger in here does charge my phone without any change in the settings and no solar panels connected. It'll immediately uh, convert it for use for a cell phone or any other USB powered device. So now we're gonna cut to the solar panels, connect some solar panels into it and see what we can do. All right. Now, we have the solar charging the battery, PV voltage, 24.5. It's charging at a rate of 1.3 amps into the battery. And I've just got this test dummied up with some alligator clips uh, to my solar cable, which runs all the way over to this one test panel so this test panel got it wired up here in the back and I don't know if you can see this but that's the specs open current voltage 44 voltage at PV max is 36 seems to be working fine with this charger, runs through these wires, comes to here. Now the rate's obviously slowing a little. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, plug in uh, probably something in the USB and start drawing a load uh, while we're charging from solar. So let's do that. All right, so we are back and I have grabbed USB cord. We're going to plug it into one of my older phones. And as you can see, this is the whole cord plugged right in. Put it down for a second. Alright, we got it plugged in. It is not charging. So let's still nothing. There we go. Apparently, I needed to hit enter after I had it plugged in, and now we're getting this little light bulb here. It gets into focus. A little light bulb. That's to show that there's a load, even though the load's coming from the USB port instead of here. Then you can see right up here that we are charging. So pretty impressive that this I could use in uh, an emergency situation. There's a bee that wants to sting me. But this we could use in an emergency situation 
to charge any sort of USB device and then I could even throw some LED lights into the DC port and run some LEDs. So overall, great unit so far. I'll give you an update once I've used it some more.